This is the only driver lesson you need. Think about it this way. Simple things actually work best. We can't get our mind, get jumbled with rubbish out on the golf course. So these two things have to work in your golf game in order for the rest of it to work. This came from a lesson when I was teaching on Friday. I had a student come down slicing the golf ball, really couldn't understand why he could hit the iron straight, but really struggled with the driver. So we went through the whole lesson, we got the driver out, got the irons out, and it was really, it was so simple, this fix. Number one, the client was stood there, and this is why it's great for you, because most golfers do this. Because this ball goes up in our stance, it encourages our shoulders to point to the left of target. Now, if you think about it this way, if my shoulders are a bit skew if and aiming to the left of my feet for a right-handed player, what is this going to encourage? This is gonna really encourage this motion of a swing working out to in and over the top relative to where your feet are. So if you come round to the down the line position now, you can really see that there and you, you can go, well, Alex, that looks like me. And if that does look like you, please do hit that thumbs up button because this could be the answer to all your prayers. Look at this. If my shoulders are open. What is this encouraging in the golf swing? Vice versa, if this ball was really back in my stance, what would this encourage in the golf swing? So we've got to think about it this way. Yes, we want the ball just inside our left heel. So line the ball up on the big toe, turn the left toe out, move the right foot away. And the key thing here is, is feeling as though you pin that right shoulder back. This will really help you control that bite wheel and get it working into square to in, or a better chance of that. We're not gonna say it's your all your answer to your prayers because you could make compensations in the swing. But if you're stood like this, You've got a lot of work to do. So number one and worst part of this, which is really essential, is making sure our feet, hips, and definitely shoulders want to feel as though they're a little bit tucked in to really encourage that more neutral club path. The second thing, position at the top of the backswing. This is a really good drill. So what I want you to do is, you see here, just above the logo on my writing on my driver, I'm gonna make a grip of this golf club. I want you to stand over the golf ball now, making sure those points in point number one, nice and square, pin that right shoulder back. I want you to make a backswing that you feel as though this grip end stays on the side of your body. Number two, you then set the golf club so this left arm is nice and straight, and this is the key thing. Point number three, can I feel as though my logo of my glove is not cupped, but nice and flat. Downswing now, work it in front turn it through. So all these points allow me to feel width, allow me to feel better rotation, all in helping you become more consistent. You look at the top drivers of the golf ball right now in the world, they have great rotation, they have great turn, they have great golf swings. Oh, actually, let's rephrase that. I don't want to put too much pressure on you, actually. You don't have to have a great golf swing. You have to have something that you understand. You have to understand your own golf swing. So what I'm saying right now is, if you could turn a percent better, then that is really gonna help you play your best golf. So feeling this, few more reps, turn back in front, turn through. Once you've done a few reps of that, that is gonna get everything working a little bit more all together. Correct that setup, feel it, hit it away and it'll really help you get more consistent more consistent strike with driver means more consistent ball flight anytime we're struggling with a mishmash of strikes over that face it's going to be really hard for us to become consistent work on those points get a more centered strike and that is going to help you become a much better golfer so i've got a comment on my channel here that i think every golfer can benefit from Mr. Mookshet said, this is a brilliant tip, and I'll leave the link to this video, it's all about backswing, and I'll put that just up here. And he said, I'm 68 year old, and I play golf, and I struggle with using my bottom half in the downswing. Well, most people do. Most people find it really hard, and that's not just necessarily if you are a more senior golfer, that is all golfers. So my little trick for you is actually, this is key, allow your lower half to be a little bit open. If you think of a chip shot, you stand with your lower half open, open to help you transfer that weight on the way through. So if we did this, little secret move here, left toe out, pull the left foot away, but keep your shoulders nice and square, this is gonna help you turn through, it's gonna feel like you've got room, and it's gonna really help you work the downswing a little bit more 
active on the way through. Simple tip, use it out on the golf course and hopefully that gets the lower half working much better for you. Thank you. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you do share it with somebody that you think can benefit from this. As you know, daily content, I'm here to help as many golfers improve their game, so I would really appreciate it if you could share this video with a friend.